In the game of life, it seems everything is a gamble. It would affect my mood. Even for Jared Cohen. I would rip through anything and anyone that I could. The product of a seemingly perfect Pikesville family who was surrounded by dozens of achieving friends. But there was one big problem no one could seem to fix. I would say my gambling started anywhere around 16, 17 years old. At 16, Jared Cohen was playing cards with friends and betting small. At 18, he was playing the tables in Atlantic City and betting a small fortune. You're looking for that feeling, that escape from reality, and you're just chasing it. His winnings supported a drug habit, but his drug habit demanded a lot more of his winnings. Soon, his wallet would be empty. It doesn't discriminate. His life was in a spiral. You, know, you can go from you know, park place to park bench real quick. But it wasn't until 20 years after he started gambling with his life that an overdose almost cost him his life. That was my lowest point. I made the decision, you know, when I was up all night in, you know, severe pain that I'm, I'm done fighting. That's what I did. I stopped, you know, beating my head against the wall and started opening my ears and listening. When it comes to addiction, the cards may no longer fall in this state's favor. By fall, Maryland will have more sports gambling venues than any other state in the country. When it comes to sports gambling, Maryland will be king. It's going to be easily accessible uh, to the point where people may be able to bet during a game. Mary Drexler is director of Maryland's Center for Excellence on Problem Gambling. Already, the center, which is funded by casino revenues, helps at least one person a day find treatment for problem gambling. But she fears that number will soon soar when sports gambling venues open at stadiums and stores, colleges and casinos. Because it'll become legalized, more people are going to feel more comfortable doing it. And you wake up and all of a sudden you can't pay your mortgage and you are obsessively thinking about it. Michael Silberman uh, operates 17 treatment centers and is bracing for a new breed of addicts who cannot resist the pull of gambling on a game. It's no different from this. If there's an addictive personality and someone is an addict, then any introduction to that can be very damaging. So having that much access is, is a scary thing. Once you get hooked, you'll do anything for that next horse race. You'll do anything for that next bet on a baseball game or a basketball game. And I think what they're doing is selling out the people of the state of Maryland. Despite his struggle with gambling, I think that it's a good thing for the state. Jared Cohen isn't convinced the impact of sports gambling will be so grave. Are there going to be, you know, problems, you know, with people who have addictions like me? 100 percent, but they're going to have that problem with or without the state having uh, gambling legalized here. After weeks of treatment, Cohen says he's now clean of drugs and gambling and is planning to open a new treatment center of his own. You know, I gave up one thing and I literally have everything I ever wanted. No longer does a victory on the table determine the direction of his life. I had enough and I had surrendered. Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News.